Welcome back to Kelvin's Coin TV, everybody. My name is Ross, and this is Pool of Radiance. We're going to be finishing the game today. Isn't that exciting? So we're in the northwest quadrant of the castle right now. We're going to go through the gates. Remember the password, Rodia. Deep voice calls down. What is the password? Give the password. What password do you give? Rodia. All right, then pass. With that, the gates swing open and you pass through the gates. So and now we're in the hedge maze. There are... Points of interest here in the hedge maze, and I'm gonna go to the first one now, which is here. Uh, you see a harmless middle-aged man. Parlay. Wait, I was just a mage searching for knowledge when Tyrant Thrax has captured me. I've been forced to work for him. Spare me and I will leave, never to return. Attack! May please give you all my notes, here they are! We're gonna attack him anyway. <laughs> Not what a lawful good party would do, but- Oh! Okay. <laughs> you can fight him. He does have items. He has bracers of armor class three, a wand of lightning, I think. And maybe a ring of fire resistance. We have all those things already. So we're a lawful good party. Let's let him go. Quickly leaves. We're left with the notes of Al Hayyam Dazid, which tell quite a lot about the pool of radiance. Copy them into your journal as entry 30, which I will read for you now. Carefully prepared notes. Note one, Tyrant Thraxus is definitely a produce of immersion in the Pool of Radiance. His extraordinary brilliance, vigor, charisma, and power of command must be a direct result of exposure to the effects of the pool. Note two, the Pool of Radiance may grant special magical abilities. Tyrant Thraxus exhibits a fiery aura, obviously magical. He also seems to have extraordinary means of obtaining information. Special magical powers granted by the pool would explain both the aura and the extra information gathering capability. Note three, this is the last one. Tyrant Thraxus tells stories about moving down from the north. Though he never mentions the pool, I gather that it is northwest of the Dragon Spine Mountains. Strangely, he occasionally lets slip that he is never far from the pool. That must be a parenthetical reference. Pool of Radiance can be moved. Tyrant Thraxus moves it with him wherever he goes. Nothing else here. Ouch. Ouch. We're gonna go to the south west quadrant now. If I can remember how to get there. Okay, great. You gotta be careful because if you walk into these walls, it'll ask if you want to cut through them. Don't do it. One of your characters will die. Pretty much every time. Point of interest in the southwest part of this hedge maze. Found it. Surprise three giants. They hold their weapons ready. Are they? Adi? Oh yeah, who send you? Iron Thraxis. Oh, we sorry, we just doing job. Please no tell. We let you, we stay at post. Make sure no one go by. Ah, screw it. I'm just going to fight him. <laughs> it says three giants. Oh, there he is. We're messing these guys up. Ow. Got him. I'm just going to quickly rest to get those magic missiles back. Then we'll go to the southeast quadrant. Mm, going the wrong way. I've never memorized this 
edge maze. There is a really good walkthrough on uh, GameBanshee.com that has a pretty accurate map for this part of the game. I'd recommend using it if uh, you're going to do a playthrough of this game. Oh. Okay. Southeast. What makes this uh, maze harder is that on the inner parts there are teleporters that teleport you to a random other teleporter in a different quadrant of the head, hedge maze. You have to use at least one of them to get to the final fight against Tyrant Thraxus. The points of interest in these quadrants are always in the extreme corner. Extreme corners of each quadrant. So um, this one's in the southeast part of the southeast quadrant. So if you just generally head east and south, oh, there it is. You'll find it. I'm just going to save the game here. Oh, baby, this tower is occupied by four giants as you come in there in the midst of an argument. The biggest one turns to you and says, them look smart, them tell us. Frogs and toads, not same thing. They not same, they diff. They not same, me right. Tech. <laughs> uh, lightning bolt. <laughs> this is not an easy fight. These are not strong lightning bolts. She just got walloped. Actually, you know what? Might be a better idea. Casting a stinking cloud and disabling these two threats. Mm. I'm trying to flee. Oh! That's weird. Actually. Cheese is gonna heal himself. That's that's his mission in life. Ouch. Actually, we're gonna take a rest. Everyone's gonna rest. We got pounded in that fight. It's just funny. Giants arguing over whether toads and frogs are the same thing. Okay, let's go to the northeast quadrant, the final one. And it's also the most difficult one. Well, actually, I think the the um, the giants we just fought were probably the most difficult. Oh, that's not the right way. Last one is just full of trolls. Last time you fight trolls in this game, it's kind of sad. I think that was the last time you fight fire giants in this game, too. Made it. What's kind of annoying as well about um, doing this part of the castle, not only are there points of interest in the like the, the extreme outers, there's also ones on the extreme inner part of the quadrant too. It's really weird for me to try to describe this. Two of the quadrants, I believe it's the same two quadrants that have gate entrances into them, into the hedge maze. So, so the, 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 the northwest and the southeast quadrants have points of interest on the, like if you go to the center of the map. Um, we're going to do the northwest one first. You find the false Tyrant Thraxis there. And then the other one, you find the real Tyrant Thraxis. And you fight him. But first, let's find these trolls. This one's kind of a, if I remember correctly, not a straight shot. You can't just go nor I mean, uh, east early. You have to go west for a bit. Well, we're going north. 
that's the building. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm getting further away from him. Found it. All right, I'm just gonna save the game because trolls are difficult. You enter the remains of a tower. A pack of trolls charged from where they were hiding. Their dumb haircuts. Everybody fireball. Everybody was fireballing. Huh. Those balls were hot as lightning. That was a really weak furball. There we go. You know what? We're going to use a scroll. Not even going to worry about where the trolls go down. We're just going to try and kill them AFAP, which is as fast as possible. Did we get them all? We did. Okay. Everybody done guard quickly. Do not continue the fight. I'm just going to do a quick little rest up here, and then we're going to go back to the northwest quadrant and uh, into the point of interest to find the false tyrant Thraxus who has with him a plus five longsword. Oh, yeah. We are going to need that. So I'm still in the northeast quadrant. I found where the teleporter is. If you move through this space here, it will teleport you randomly to one of the other three teleporters uh, in the hedge maze. The one we want to end up looking at, when we walk through it, we want to be, we want to see a wall of a building right in front of us. So let's see if we can get there. Feel sudden disorientation. Um, I think this is the same one, so it can teleport you to the same place. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to cut through. Um, not where we want to be. Here we go. We want to go this way. And enter. You enter a chamber which is lavishly appointed with hangings, carpets, and furniture. Sitting on a throne, it's a powerful looking man clad in barbaric splendor. What is your business with Tyrant Thraxus, Lord of Flan combat? <laughs> Alarm starts ringing. Great. Yeah. You see, his name is Tyrant Thraxus. It's not really Tyrant Thraxus. Oh. Okay. I can't target the, uh, I can't target the, um, thieves. That's interesting. Boom. I can't remember why I can't target the, the thieves. Get the jewelry and the gems. Items. Yeah, that's a plus five longsword. I don't remember what the ring is. Ring of protection? Those are gauntlets of ogre power. Which the juice is gonna wear. <laughs> um, let's see. Minus five on the AC. Minus six on the AC. Oh. Cool. The juice is stronger. <laughs> we have four pairs of uh, Gauntlets of Ogre Power. 
pretty nice. All right, you know what's kind of sad though? We might have to say goodbye to our plus three morning star, which has served us so well. So hamburger's using a plus four longsword now. Thaco is seven. Damage is one d eight plus seven. The Thaco should now be six. One d eight plus eight. Plus five longsword. We're gonna give helper uh, a plus four longsword. Helper's Thaco right now is nine. The damage is 2d4 plus 9, which is really good. There's a really good floor to that. Uh, I guess 1d8 plus 10. It's a higher ceiling. The 2d4 plus 9, it does a minimum of uh, 11 damage. This does, also does a minimum of 11. Okay, then I'm good with that change. Oh man, this Morningstar plus three was so clutch. I've never seen a plus three Morningstar in this game. So glad I found it in this playthrough. Um, Because it was with us almost to the very end of the game. There's one more fight left. We were using this Morningstar plus three for a while. Man, that's so good. But alas... Okay, the alarm stopped. We're gonna use the teleporter again. Facing south. And the wall's in front of us. I think this is the one we want. I think this is a different building, right? Yes, we found it. So this room does appear empty. This room to the south here is illusory. I just walked right through it. Now you see a hidden staircase that wasn't there before. See? Boom. You go upstairs. Do you want to go down these stairs? No. Secret door is found to your left. Let's do it. Do you want to go up these stairs? Yes. Actually, no. Do you want to go down these stairs? Yes. You're in a room filled with broken statues. A head broken loose from the torso, shows a face filled with terror. A Medusa comes t running toward you. Oh, she's hot. Gotta take this thing out quickly before it turns you to stone. Being turned to stone is, is the same as dying. <laughs> All right, we kicked her butt. If you go upstairs first, there's nothing in this room. You go upstairs through the secret door first. There's a trap door you can look through into this room. Uh, Tyrant Thraxus, Thraxus drops prisoners um, through the trap door and just watches the Medusa turn them to stone for fun. There's some journal entries that talk about that. We found a few of them, I believe, in this playthrough. And uh, when one of your characters looks through it, they get they get turned to stone. So it's no, it's it's pretty cheap. Pretty, pretty cheap tactic. Yeah, we're going to go up the stairs. Secret door is front to your right. We're going to use it. Yes, I do. There's one more set of stairs we use to get to Tyrant Thraxis. Pick it. You're in an empty room. The only feature is a trap door in the center. Do you open it? This is the trap door I was talking about. Quickly looking away, Hamburger says, I saw broken remains of statues, heads with faces full of terror. You want to jump through the trap door? No, we're already there. You can surprise the Medusa that way. Cool, just empty rooms. This castle sucks. Okay. Yep, that's the Medusa stuff. That's where we came from. Tyrant Thraxis is up there. We're gonna go through this door first. So if I remember correctly, through this door, there's a messenger waiting outside the office of a high level magic user who can actually join your party. But I don't wanna have any more NPCs in the party. We're just gonna kill him. <laughs> he's like the closest guy to Tyrant Thraxis. Of course he's evil. Let's just do it. You're in a room furnished with chairs and benches. Waiting here is a man playing with a dagger. As you come in, he nods at you. Stares moodily at his feet. Harley. Nice. 
Hey, look, could you keep quiet? I'm just, I just got back from the north and I'm tired, okay? Moment later, a voice from, uh, voice calls from the other doorway. Messenger? Man gets up with a sigh, goes into the office. Minute later, he comes out, putting papers into a pouch and goes out the door. Voice calls, Messenger? Enter room furnished as the apartment of a wealthy, if eccentric, merchant. Middle-aged man in robes looks up from a desk. Sweat message from Tyrant Thraxes requires all of you to deliver it. Combat. <laughs> so the look of fear comes over his face. If you come from Tyrant Thraxes, I can offer a better deal. If you kill him instead of me, it will make you all generals. In fact, I will join you. Is it a deal? No. We shall kill you. Actually, no, I'm going to... Yeah. Shit. What happened? Okay, that was weird. Oh, my game froze for a second. All right. Yeah, he's using that wand of lightning. Overloaded. Great. Nope. This is the only time I think you see this type of dungeon in this room. Pretty cute. All right. I got a little secret to share with all y'all. You have in your possession, if you haven't used it already, an item that can pretty much break the game for you. Do you want to guess what it is? Because at this point, you have to use it. You want a hint? Kind of dusty. Helper. Bust out the dust of disappearance. Turns your entire party invisible. Yes, we're going to go down these stairs. You're in the audience hall of Tyrant Thraxis, Conqueror of Flan. The ceiling has been torn away, leaving the entire section of the tower open to the sky. Center of the room is a glowing pool. An ancient bronze dragon, surrounded by a fiery aura, rises from where it was coiled nearby. Two guards move to bar your path. The dragon looks at you with malevolence. Guards, kill these pests. All right. What the dust of disappearance really does for you, these guys here, they cannot attack you unless they're right next to you. And all of these guys, they're... They're eighth level fighters. They're not to be taken lightly. But we're invisible. And we got lightning bolts. And fireballs. And we're gonna use all of them. Tyrant Thraxis is immune to oop. Tyrant Thraxis is immune to magic. Now, this is a weak lightning bolt. We all got rings of fire resistance. We could. Look at them. They're not even moving. They're just guarding. Because they have no idea where we are. I'll tell you another thing, too. Um... Tyrant Thraxis has a special, like, reaction attack that he also can't use on you if you're invisible. Cannot see invisibility. Look at this. This is, this is beautiful. I mean, I'm sure the Dust of Disappearance is um, equally as effective in other situations, but I'd like to save it for right now. Because a bunch of 8th level fighters can really mess you up. This is a classic. Let's soften up the party. Right before the boss battle. Type of type of thing. We also have a bunch of potions. We're no longer going to need, so we're going to use those as well. 
Damn. No, 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 no. Jeez. But look how difficult just taking down one guy is. Yeah, we're gonna use hold person again, I think. Use the wand of lightning. That's pretty powerful lightning bolt. Jeez. Use the wand again. Yep. I wonder if I do it from below. If it'll bounce off the wall. And hit him again. Yeah, it did. Ugh. We only got two hit points. There we go. Even though they're guarding, they still don't have uh, packs of opportunity like ready to tax because they can't see us. We're invisible. We not be targeted by certain attacks. I think we can just pound on this guy. Surrendered. One hit, well, 12,000 experience. Man. If you weren't fully leveled up now, oh, these are all rings of protection plus two, I think. Two handed swords. Um, plus two as well. Plate mail plus two as well, I think. We'll sort that all out later. I didn't use any of my potions. Oh, I messed up. Oh, well. Dragon looks at you with interest. You are indeed mighty warriors. Even so, there is no hope of your success. But you interest me. If you join me, I will make you the commanders of the armies that will sweep the moon sea. Cannot be defeated, you know. <laughs> will you join me? Hamburger, how do you vote? Attack. Helper, how do you vote? Attack. Jeez, how do you vote? Tech. The juice. Attack. A battle begins. All right. I have the javelin of lightning. I don't know if I'm going to use it. You hide. You're, you have nothing to do here. Uh oh. Oh yeah, he can't, he can't target us because we're invisible. Oh my word. Just tooling on an ancient bronze jack. Oh. Oh. Okay, he's good. Hmm. You like that? You like that? Yeah. Yeah. The party has won. Yes, we have. Mortally wounded, the dragon roars. The spirit of Tyrant Thraxus flares up from the dragon's body. Remember, he's a demon who possesses things. Bronze dragons are usually good. Fools, you have but slain the body I possess. I cannot be defeated. With the power of the Pool of Radiance, which I moved here to my lair, I will still rule by possessing one of you. <laughs> no, Lord Vane, I can still rule here. I have not failed. No. Knowing that Tyrant Thraxus has finally been defeated, you leave the castle. Moving through the streets, you catch occasional glimpses of monsters in hiding. None attack. Finally enter the civilized area of Flan. You're by the gateway to the unsettled areas, so do watch eyes you suspiciously. Yeah, great. All right, it's nighttime, so I'm just going to do a quick little resty roo. And we're going to go to City Hall.
Heck yeah. At your entry, the council clerk begins looking through a stack of papers. Before I can offer any commissions, I must see if you're due a current reward. Clerk speaks, congratulations, your quest is over. Tyrant Thraxus is defeated, Flan is free. If you wish, you may continue to help us clear any remaining monsters. All Flan salutes you. Here's your reward. 67,500 experience? I mean, sure. And that's it. We beat the game. So that was Pool of Radiance. You can continue playing. You have all these crazy items, like a plus five longsword you can use. Um, you can explore the world map looking for um, hidden layers and things like that, find new treasure and stuff like that. Um, and then you can also import your party into the sequel, which is Curse of the Azure Bonds. You'll have the same modifiers, same characters, basically, but you won't have any of your equipment um, or your experience towards next levels. Um, or you can import this party into Hillsfar as well, too. Hillsfar is more of like a XP farming type adventure. Curse of the Azure Bonds actually has a more, um, uh, I guess, compelling story than something like Hillsfar. Um, Hillsfar is more just like the hack and slash, like I said, XP farming sort of thing. But Pool of Radiance is my favorite. Something awesome and romantic about first level parties, dungeon crawling, uh, that I just really, really enjoy. Um, there is a hack you can do. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to a training hall and you remove characters from your party, you can create a new party with those same characters. When you drop a character, they're deleted. When you remove a character, they go to your character pool. So you could add hamburger, helper, cheese, and the juice to a new party and start the whole game over again with all your items and experience and stuff like that. And just like lay waste to everything. It's kind of fun to do sometimes. I'm not going to do it for this episode. Uh, maybe in the future we might do something fun like that. Um, but for now, thank you so much for watching Pool of Radiance. This has been the official Kelvin's Coin walkthrough slash guide. Um, let me know if you have any questions about it in the comments. Um, I always love talking about this game and helping people through difficult uh, situations. So um, I'm here for it for sure. Thank you all. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next episode.